Hi honeys, it's your queen bee. Um, I was gonna make some jokes and be lighthearted and just, you know, make it a fun video, but um, nothing fun happened this month. Um, nothing good happened this month, except for like maybe one thing, um, but it comes from just not good. Um, it's really hard to talk about this without crying. Um, and I'm not sorry for crying because that's just like, I'm sad and I don't need to apologize for it. But, um, it just sucks. I mean, this month just really, really sucked. Um, I'm trying really hard not to cry. And it's just really hard. So, um, yeah, I was gonna make some like, wake me up when September ends jokes. Um, I was just gonna like comment on how I don't have makeup on because I'll just cry it all off um, and just a bunch of other stuff. But I don't feel like being lighthearted because I really don't feel like I can be. Um, so yeah, this month has really just sucked. This is a month review, by the way. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about products. I'm not gonna be talking about world news because I feel like my life um, just really came crashing down and I don't know really how to feel about it. I don't even know what happened in the news or anything else because I have been mostly focused on me. Um, and that's really what my main concern was this month. So at the start of the month, um, I don't know why, but I was just really depressed. I was really sad and just really mad at everyone. I was like in a really dark place and I was just like, just, I was, I was just, out of it. I was really just out of it. Um, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of bed. It was so hard. It, it was just really hard. And I don't like telling people um, about me being depressed and everything else because there are so many people out there um, that have it way worse than I do. But at the same time, I do feel like it needs to be addressed in this video. Um, just because I don't talk about it and I, I feel like now is the time, um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this video short. I'm gonna try not to like uh, have like a complete breakdown, um, but yeah. So I I was just like in a really bad mood, um, just every single day, and then well, I'm trying not to cry. So I was just in a bad mood and I thought nothing, nothing could be worse. I didn't even think this was a bad year. I just kind of thought it's a year, whatever, tragedies happen. It's not my tragedy, it's whatever, I don't care. Um, but it's really different when it happens to you. And I guess I just, I really wasn't prepared. No one was. Um, It's really hard. So if you don't know, I have two dogs. And uh, one of them's getting up there in age, you know, brownie. Um, and I thought that she would be the one to pass first because of how old she is. And I'm kind of prepared for that because it's, it's just going to happen. And you think that people who are older, you're just more prepared. You're just more prepared and you're okay with it because you know that you've given them the best and longest life that you could. And then I have another dog, Molly. And she would have been two years old in November. And she was my little poodle puppy. I say puppy because she was just so young and she was like my baby. And my whole family, all my friends, everyone just loved her so much. And 
I don't want to go into too much detail, but I know that if I don't say exactly what it is, what happened, then I'll probably get people asking me and I would rather just it be out there so that no one asks me what happened. She loved to run. She loved to just run and run and run. And we have a lot of land out by my mom's. They live in the country and I have moved out. So I feel guilty for not being there all the time to see her because I felt like I had a lot of time. I felt like she still had 10, 12 years to live because Brownie, she's like 14. She's probably older than that. And um, I just felt like Molly had so much longer to live and I didn't really think of um, worst case scenario something happening to her and she would get out of the pen that she'd get out of the fence pen whatever you want to call it and my dad that week had been um fixing the fence putting up more boards on the fence um we were even going to like where she was digging out under the fence we were going to put um like chicken wire there and just kind of like a netting like a safety so that she wouldn't get out um because she just loved to run and um She'd gotten out before and she'd gotten hit, but the lady uh, took her up to the house, you know, whatever, and was like, hey, I hit your dog, but she's fine. And she was fine. She just, you know, had a little bit of a hurt shoulder or whatever, um, but she was fine. And the day that it happened, it was a Sunday. And Sundays for my family are our little family days. We we make bacon and eggs and um just you know we have our little sunday breakfast and then we just hang out in our pajamas watch tv we just do our sunday thing which is just hanging out we don't go to church we don't do any of that stuff but we just have family time sunday is our family time and i always feed my snake on sunday so because i moved out um i was gonna do my laundry feed the snake and i remember I woke up at six and I went back to bed. I was like, I'm so, I'm just too tired. I was just so depressed. I've been so depressed and I woke up at seven, same deal. And I woke up at eight and I was like, I have to get up. I have to go. I left in my pajamas like I have been. And my mom texted me halfway when I was over there and she says, breakfast is ready. Which I kind of thought was weird because I already knew I was coming over, but I was like, whatever. It was really foggy. And I just, I remember driving down the driveway and I had seen my brother uh, with the go-kart and he had this white thing sitting next to him. And I was like, that's kind of weird, but I didn't, I didn't really think much of it because I think in my mind I knew, but I really didn't want to know. <laughs> so I go up to the house. And I see my mom, when I go inside, seeing at the end of the table, she had stood up and I was like, what's wrong? Where's dad and Wade? And she was like, <laughs> she said, Molly got hit. And I said, well, is she okay? And she said no. And she died. And I was like, no, no, it couldn't be true. It really just couldn't. Because <laughs> she'd been hit before and she was fine. And I was like, what happened? What happened? Just, I couldn't. I just, I just remember folding down and I was just on the ground crying. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. She's too young. She's just the sweetest dog and there's no way. <laughs> My mom told me that she had let the dog out to make sure that she couldn't get out of the fence and she did and my dad had been working on the fence all week. We, we were trying really hard to make it to where she wouldn't get out because we were afraid something like this was gonna happen. And we all knew something like this was probably going to happen because that's just how she was. She just wanted to run. She's like just running and she just, 
That's what she wanted to do. So she got out and my dad got the buggy and as soon as he got down to the driveway, she was, she was dead. And the car that hit her had to have been going at least 70. We have country roads, people speed all the time. And I hate it, I hate it because I knew, I know that something was gonna happen. Everyone did, but it, it's still, it's shocking. It's like, how could someone just do that and not stop or not? I don't know. And it was foggy. You would think that people would slow down. People wouldn't speed if it was foggy because you couldn't see anything. And I just, I really regret not being there that morning early enough to see her one last time. I think that's what I really regret the most. And it really hurts a lot. But the night before I did get to see her, we were eating pizza because again, like a Saturday, Sunday thing, it's our weekend. And she was right next to me and my dad begging for pizza and trying to get up on the table like she normally does. And we were just joking like, oh, she's so annoying. But then after everything was all said and done, we had her buried right next to her other dog. We were eating because we had made bacon and it had gotten cold, but we still needed to eat because we knew that if none of us ate, we'd all get sick and it'd just be no good for anyone. And I just remember eating, like just about choking because I was just still crying. And just looking down and just like wishing she was there begging for the bacon <laughs> like she normally does and we buried her we put a little cross up there with her name and i have never seen my dad upset i've never seen my dad sad or I've never seen him cry. I've never seen him tear up at anything. But we were upstairs on the balcony with Brownie and she was just crying. Her nose was just running and her eyes were just watering and she was just breathing really hard and just like she was pouting and she was making little sad noises and my dad, he was just like, I have never felt bad for a person at any funeral I've ever been to. I've never cried for anyone, but this dog was different. The dog was the sweetest dog. And it really affected everyone. And there was a car that went by and while we were outside upstairs, Brownie just was like whimpering and we think that maybe she had heard because the, Molly was barking, 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 and mom thought it was fine. She went to get Brownie inside and my dad went to go get Molly on the cart. And when Molly stopped barking, Brownie just kind of froze up is what my mom said. She just froze up. We think that she might have heard because dogs have really good hearing. And Brownie's been through a lot. She's getting up there in age. And um, she's got Cushing's and everything else. And this like really affected her. Um, she's doing better now, but I mean, we're all just really upset about it. I, I just, I wish I would have been there earlier. I should have got up the first time and I just regret it. And I know I couldn't do anything even if I was there, but I just wish I could have seen her alive one last time. And it's really hard. It was just really hard. Because we all loved her so much. And we gave her the best life we could. But it was just, 
it was cut too short and it just sucks. I have never felt this upset over a death. I Normally I could get over death in like a day or two, I'm fine. Um, but she really had a way of just making you feel like you were loved. She was always there. <laughs> And I guess, I, in a time that I really needed her the most, she wasn't there. And it really sucks and it really hurts. So I can officially say that 2020 is the worst year. And I wish that things were better for everyone. And I hate that I'm crying. Because I've never cried this much about a death but it really hurts and I don't know what to do um but we just really felt like we needed someone there brownie was really depressed I was I'm still really really depressed but um mom took it the hardest I think like, you guys think I'm upset, but mom was, mom and dad were worse. But, um, she's always wanted a poodle. And so, we contacted everyone we could. We were ready to spend as much as we needed to to buy another poodle. Um, and we finally found someone where, uh, we got Molly at. They had... They didn't have any for sale because they were all too young or they weren't born yet. But um, the woman that we bought Molly from, her mom had gotten a dog. Um, and I guess they share the same dad or same mom, but they're like sisters in a way. Um, but this dog is black and um, her name is Abby. So we got Abby and she's a really good dog. And we're not trying to replace Molly because there's never going to be replacing her. But Molly left a huge hole that we just needed to fill a little bit of. And so we got Abby from the woman's mom. The mom was too old and she just couldn't take care of the dog anymore. And this dog is about two years old, so she's a little bit older than um, Molly. So I think they had the same dad. But, um, and she does some things that Molly would do. It just reminds me of her. And I kind of joked, like, you know, Abby smells like and feels like an old woman's old Goodwill carpet. Um, but when I hold her... All I can think of is Molly, and how I just really want her to be here, and how I just miss her so much. And I would never wish this pain on even my worst enemy. And trust me, I hate a lot of people, but this is just the worst pain. It really feels like losing a child, and as my mom has lost some children. She feels like this is exactly that pain. And her and my dad both said this is something that they would never, never want anyone else to experience. Um, but we just really miss Molly. You know, I would like to believe that when she got hit that she, it was quick and painless and that she didn't feel anything. That is what I would really like to believe. But I would also like to believe that she's up there in heaven with all the other really good pets. And that one day when I'm old and I've lived a long life, that I'll see her.
This is not the video I really wanted to make at the end of the month. I wanted it to be better. But I, there's nothing good that happened this month. Besides, we got Abby. And Abby is a really sweet and loving dog. But she will never be like Molly. No one will ever replace Molly. But we really want to give Abby the best life. Just like we did for Molly and just like we have for Brownie. And that's really all. Nothing else happened this month. I've just been feeling really down. I haven't been wanting to go to school. I haven't even been wanting to wake up in the morning. I haven't been wanting to do art or my makeup or YouTube or anything. I just want to change. I want to get better mentally and physically and everything else. And I'm really hoping that October is better. <clears throat> so I'm sorry if you guys um, cried at all during this video. You can cry with me. I'm not ashamed of crying. Um, but this is the first time I've felt so terrible. And I think it's just the whole month leading up to it. I don't know. But I... I really just hope this year turns around and next year is better and that's really it. I do plan on doing like a little costume thing every day for October um because I'm trying to like get myself more motivated and that's really it. Um so with all that being said thanks for stopping by. Love you.